Degorai, the ride-sharing platform via motorcycles. But with 5,500 registered drivers and 1,000 users a day, the platform is starting to make its mark in Malaysia. Its CEO and founder spoke to TMR recently. started Digo Ride was essentially to provide cheap rides and cheap, fast and efficient rides which are very safe for the public uh, in Klang Valley. Uh, the reason why we came up with that was because we noticed that our rider partners were telling us that you know there is no cheap and efficient way to travel uh, from point to point in Klang Valley. Uh, and that they were also looking forward to this opportunity since they learned about the emergence of a few other startups like Gojek, to name one specifically in Jakarta, in Indonesia. Uh, so the idea was that Digo Ride would allow anybody to come in and then register, uh, apply. They won't need to have uh, what you call this uh, contract with us so there is no stipulation of period of time that they need to work and focus the idea is that it allows this wide range of people to come in uh, earn an income and then um, actually create financial objectives for themselves and then see where they are with that and see if they want to continue it as a form of generating income however I would like to stress that Digo right should be seen as a empowering factor for the B40 and the people who are looking for money in a short period of time without any contracts. So what happens then is if you've already earned or achieved your financial goals by X period, then you can switch over and start building your own online business or offline business and using Digo as the distribution channel for their products. Um, so we see a lot of our riders, rider, rider partners actually do this. Uh, they come in from a household, of course they are mostly married. Um, and what happens is that their wife starts doing uh, cottage-based industries. And we do the deliveries for those cottage-based industries. Uh, and that's how it creates a cyclical uh, economy in itself on our similar platform. And I like to think that that is uh, proof that there is a way for the lowest uh, sector of our uh, economy to actually rise up and take control of what they can do and what they can earn. So the legality issue is uh, it's going to take a while to work towards that. Uh, right now, the lowest hanging fruit is actually the e-hailing effort, uh, which we are hopefully participating in. Um, other than that, on the operations side, we get a lot of registrations. However, people are not ready to show their face to public and come in for our training sessions. So what's going on is that we are having to explain and educate the partners. And this is where we would like uh, the media and other parties to get themselves involved to re-educate our partners uh, and educate our consumers as well that this ban isn't essentially, or the statement of illegality by the Timbaland Ministry isn't actually a ban. However, it's just a statement. It hasn't been turned into an official notice for the company.